today in this video lecture of genetic engineering we are going to discuss about polymeric chain reaction this is the second part of genetic engineering in first part we have discussed about uh, what is genetic engineering what are the main aspects of genetic engineering and <coughs> what is cloning what are the two main types of cloning by which we can do cloning as we have seen with the help of cells which is known as gene cloning and without the help of cells which is known as polymerase chain reaction so in this video lecture we are going to study about polymerase chain reaction so what is the procedure uh, procedure we will discuss in step by step but first of all we will discuss who invented polymerase chain reactions so polymeric chain reaction was invented by Carey Mullis. This is an another method of cloning, and also this is a method in which we are uh, we don't require any living cells. So there is uh, so polymeric chain reaction is carried out without the help of cells, and it is carried out in a single test tube containing various mixtures of DNA and reagent reagents. So, where does polymeric chain reaction takes place? The equipment in which polymeric chain reaction takes place is known as thermal cycler. So, now we will discuss the procedure of polymeric chain reaction. How does it take place step by step? So, there are basically three steps in polymeric chain reaction. First is denaturation, second is annealing and third is synthesis. So, what is done in PCR? In short form, you can call polymeric chain reaction as PCR. So, what is actually done in PCR? First of all, denaturations. So, a template DNA, a double-stranded template DNA is taken. After that, at 94 degrees Celsius, the two strands which are holding together by hydro hydrogen bonds are broken down into a single-stranded DNA. After denaturation of this double-stranded DNA, the second step is annealing. So, Annealing is annealing takes uh, takes place at six, fifty to sixty degrees Celsius. So what does in annel uh, what in the step of annealing takes place? So in annealing primers are basically used. Primers are nothing but short oligonucleotide sequence which are complementary to the DNA sequence to the specific DNA sequence. So after denaturation we uh, presents primer to the template DNA and these primers get annealed at the specific at a specific position to the template DNA as you can see over here. So after annealing of this primer there is a third step which is known as synthesis or extension. So this synthesis or extension is takes place at 74 degree Celsius. At 74 degree Celsius an enzyme known as tag DNA polymerase is used to extend the to synthesize new DNA strand complementary to the template strand. So, what does tag DNA polymerase enzyme does? Tag DNA polymerase gets attached to one end of the primer as you can see over here. So, tag DNA polymerase gets attached to one end of the, pri uh, one end of the primer and synthesize new DNA strand which is complementary to the template DNA. As you can see here, this is the primer which gets annealed at a specific position. After that, tag DNA polymerase gets attached at one end of the primer over here and after that, the, the enzyme tag DNA polymerase starts synthesizing complementary strand, complementary DNA strand to the template strand. And in this way, we get numerous copies of the given DNA. And in this way, without the help of cells, we can perform cloning. I hope you have understand how polymerase chain reaction has taken place. So, in short, the, there are three steps in PCR. Denaturation, annealing, synthesis. Denaturation takes place at 94 degrees Celsius. Annealing at 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. And synthesis or extension takes place at 74 degrees Celsius. In our further video lecture, we are going to discuss in detail. This video was just about overlook how does cloning takes place with the, with the help of cells and without the help of cells. And further, we are going to discuss in more details. Thank you for watching.